happy Sungjin day. So yesterday was kind of a vlogging fail. Originally, I intended this vlog to be a sort of um, follow me around kind of vlog, like a normal vlog, but then lots of logistically crazy things happened. Things that I think would only happen in the Philippines, let's be honest, like sudden surges of traffic and just really unpleasant things. And I didn't really want to vlog that because I felt like it would kind of compound the situation. I was getting tattooed with two of my best friends and so you know when you're kind of stressed out and you're all sort of impatient and you're late for your appointment and stuff like that so i didn't want to sort of exacerbate that so i decided to do this sort of talk through style and just keep my happy birthday park sungjin intro because i was very very proud of that and i woke up early just to film that so all right let's get started i guess so as the title suggests yesterday i finally got tattooed after one year of refraining from my wonderful hobby of being poked with a needle for hours at a time and yesterday I got two day six tattoos so before we start I guess it's important for me to say that I booked this appointment not with those tattoos in mind I booked this appointment for my forearm tattoo which I also got it's a crescent moon with flowers and different peony buds this design is something that I've been thinking about for a really long time because I saw a couple of other sort of really pretty um, patterns and designs similar to this but none of them used peonies like there was one that used roses and then another one that used daisies and tulips I think but none of them used peonies and for like most of my tattoos I have um, peonies or like peony inspired things and so I decided that I was going to book that appointment for 2018 and this is something that's sort of been a long time coming. I decided to get the day 6 tattoos alongside this sort of crescent moon thing because their second album came out in December and it just sort of caught me off guard that they named it Moonrise and I'm not sure if this is sort of a projection of my skepticism or of my cynicism or of just me expecting people to be kind of prosaic and predictable but I had somehow expected them to name it Sunset and so when they named it Moonrise I was like super duper elated also because the theme of most of my tattoos are flowers and crescent moons like I have crescent moons on my wrists I have a crescent moon tattoo on my ribs like it's a hand reaching out for a crescent moon and I got that tattoo a little over a year ago actually just to sort of remind myself to reach for my dreams and to just you know keep going like even if things are hard even if gravity is against you just you know keep reaching for that moon keep aiming for the effort of trying to be the best you that you can be and I've been following day six since the day and I'm really happy with how the fandom has been growing to be honest everything aside like all of the fandom stuff and like who's the cutest or whatever <laughs> the truth is that I just love their music and it really really resonates with me and um, when the B-side for December came out, I was just like, okay, um, okay, you know, um, I think that this is something that I can do. And I think that it's something that I can commit to without ever regretting it. Like, no matter what happens, even if one day I end up not following them anymore, um, I think that I can get these tattoos and live with myself because it's ultimately a message that I feel will stand the test of time okay so now I guess you guys are probably like holy crap like just tell us what it is okay so I decided to get a better better tattoo and better better is the first track on the album and also the b-side for December it's just such an uplifting track and the first time that I listened to it without like the translation or without the lyrics the thing that I love the most about it is that it really sounds like you're being lifted up and out of a bad mood so this opens like with a guitar intro and that guitar intro is freaking genius and very very reminiscent of 
late Beatles stuff and I'm like a fool for late Beatles stuff especially stuff that they played on the rooftop which was their last concert together as the Beatles so when I heard that intro I was like oh man like this is gonna be a sad song like this is gonna be kind of like uh, don't let me down and stuff like that and I guess in a way it does sort of progress like that because there's a part where you just hear the piano and you just there's something sad about it like there's something a little bit melancholic about it but then once you get to the chorus and just oh my god it's just such a good song and before this i had contemplated getting an i need somebody tattoo but i wouldn't know like what to get with regard to that song because it's one of my favorite songs but there's just nothing there that i felt i could really sort of live with as a tattoo because it's one thing to love a song it's another thing to have something inked on you permanently yeah so i decided to get um two better better tattoos to go alongside my crescent moons that i have on my wrists. These tattoos are kind of old. They're like two years old already so you'll see that they're a little like more faded and I got them sort of in an inverse manner so it's um, the other way around just so that I can read it no matter what orientation I'm at. And that song is a love song. That song is a song about being so in love with someone that you want to be better for them and the only person that i can 100 percent think about when i hear that song is it sounds like a song to yourself you know it sounds like learning to accept yourself for who you are and having that bleed out into being kind to other people and it's just something that resonates so well with me especially because um i do write and i do read a lot and I also have a booktube channel which is my main channel like this channel is just kind of for shits and giggles and when you read as many books as I do at a time I guess sometimes you kind of forget about the fact that literature is not something that exists in a vacuum and literature isn't something that you do for the sake of reading it's something that has to sort of transcend that and bleed into your real life like it has to be an exercise of empathy and <sighs> yeah um, I just felt like it would be a really really good reminder of that so I'm really really happy with these and the font by the way is sort of an improvisation um, because obviously I showed um, Cam C, the tattoo artist, the Moonrise script and I said that I really like that kind of loopy stuff and she said that that was great but then obviously there's no B in Moonrise, there's no T in Moonrise so we would have to improvise on those letters so what we did was we checked um, this website that hosts free fonts and stuff and she sort of did a study combining the B and the T in that and sort of adjusting it to the Moonrise font. Like the one that we found to base it off of was a lot thicker and sort of more straight. Like these are a little bit slanted, um, yeah, a little bit skewed. So, also I do yoga and if you <laughs> put your hands together and do the Namaste thing, it just works like namaste try to be a better person how's about that so i think that's gonna be it for this talk through because this video is already super duper long and thank you guys for watching and i hope that this was fun let me know if you have any sort of music or band inspired tattoos and like this video if you liked it subscribe if you wanna okay, bye